Hey everybody, I hope you've had a good day. You've seen that earlier I posted on uh, Instagram a trade that I've taken and I had a few questions about the reasons for taking the trade and how I've managed it. So this is the trade that I'm in at the moment and currently we are running a 1-7. to seven. This is just a daily trade, uh, intraday trade that I'm taking. So first of all, we'll jump into how I identify such a trade. First of all, we can see we look, need to look at structure. So are we bullish or are we bearish? Taking into consideration, we are dropping out the sky, making lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. I'm looking for a new lower high. I want the highest point to sell from. So coming to the charts this morning, just after London open, we can see that prices come above and sweep the stops for Asia. And then we've run into the previous New York high. So at this level, I'm then looking to see if I've got my confirmation. So Going down to a lower time frame, you can go down to whatever time frame suits you the best. I like to go down to a really low time frame to get those great sniper entries. We can see we've got that nice triple top and then price starts to drop. This trade has allowed me to get a nice stop of three pips. All right. And uh, looking at my overall target, which is the New York low, based on the fact that we are selling from the New York high, we can see that this will overall give me a one to nine and a half within a day's trade. All right. And currently you can see that we are trending nicely to the downside on the lower time frame. looking at this. And um, it's nice to see that so we can manage our trade appropriately. And we're now coming to collect all the stops because you need to bear in mind when price is trending to the downside, we always have to have those little pullbacks before we drop again, before we make that lower high. And this is exactly what's happened today. We've had one drive, two drives, three drives, and then we're melting. So I would now expect price to come down below this area, create another lower low, and that may give another opportunity for another potential sell later on in the week. All right now taking, that's just the lower time frame. Having confluences with the higher time frame as well is really important. So first of all, if we start at the daily, when I took the trade this morning, we had a bullish engulfing candle coming up to this daily high. Now we can see that we've rejected that daily high, and when we reject that daily high, our next target is going to be looking for the daily low. So I'm expecting price to come all the way back down towards this area. On the four hour, we can see that we had that nice bullish move this morning, which was in Asia. But then we've had that bearish engulfing coming down, engulfing one, two, two and a half candles. All right. So again, that's showing me that we've got bearish momentum coming into the market. And then if we throw volume in this as well, we can see clearly that we've got these nice um, bearish volume. Um, bearish volume candles also justifying a trade to the downside. Okay, now going down to the one hour, we can also see that we are below the 50 EMA. We have retested this and there is nothing down here to justify at all a potential position for a long until we get at least down to here. So our path is clear for price to come down to our New York low, which should provide that nice one to nine and a half risk reward for one single day of trading. So I hope that makes sense. Um, if you've got any more questions, then just let me know. But I'll try and post more and more and more of these trades that I'm taking online just to help everybody. Have a great day. And then I'll speak to everyone again soon.